everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Uh, today I am doing a 12 by 12 canvas and it's going to be a drizzle bloom. And my base colors today are uh, paint gray and yellow. And all I did was take my golden acrylic fluid and mix it in my base paint, which is just color place from Walmart, ready to use white parentheses set. So you're just sort of mixing those two colors as, as the base. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just giving it a little spin, but I'm gonna level it out here. Are you gonna kind of mix them together a little I'm bit? I'm gonna mix them together. Okay. I might have to use a little bit more. So this is just something new. I'm just mixing them. So I see what we get here. Okay. So. Let me understand this. Okay, you've got a multicolored base you're starting with. Okay, and then you do... do you I'm do doing the, a drizzle. Then you do a drizzle on top of that, and then you're going to do a bloom on top of that. Correct. Oh, okay. Can you tell my brain was going to get in my <laughs> sleep? Well, this should, this should be quite uh, quite interesting here. It should be, Phil. You know, I always have to do something different here. Well, it makes it fun. Hopefully it'll turn out. I believe it will. We'll see. Oh, yeah, we'll see all right. Okay, so just let me torch this a little bit and get some of these bubbles. You don't want to torch it a whole lot because you'll get a skin with your house paint. So you got to be very quick with it. So now this looks like a mishmash already, but that's okay. <laughs> so so I have tons, rows. Okay, I have so. tons of colors. So let me explain this, Phil. Okay. My outer row here is for my drizzle. And it is boysenberry pigment by Color, Color Art Primary Elements. This is gold by Amsterdam, jasmine pigment, Color Art, lemon yellow by Arteza, Mediterranean blue with tanzanite pigment and vivoom red. That is my drizzle. This side is my bloom, which is snapdragon pigment, gold sparkle pigment, jasmine pigment, sunburst pigment, majestic blue pigment, and wine and roses pigment. So the outside is my drizzle. The inside is my bloom. So this we're going to see <laughs> if this makes any difference with this drizzle. We got to see. This is an experiment, so bear with me, everybody. We're going to see what happens. Which means, you know, by doing this, I'm going to have to make more paints and pigments. But that's okay. That's my boysenberry for my drizzle. This is my gold for my drizzle. You really need more paints? <laughs> well, when I'm out of some of the colors, I do. Okay. <laughs> when you get pretty low, then you have to make some more. That's true. And there, you're going to see, that's for a whole nother thing. There's more paints, Phil, that I made up. Well, that's for your next uh, project today. Okay. So I already had those made up yesterday because I want those to sit for a little while. Yeah, it gets so the there's bubbles not a lot of right? bubbles. Okay. Right. All right. Especially when you do it with, uh, well, if you do it with like glue and water or Floetrol, um, you can get quite a few bubbles by stirring. So I like to just kind of let that sit. Mm hmm. So while that was sitting, I was thinking, okay, what am I going to do with this? Right. So I came up with this concoction. We'll see if it's going to work. Now, Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Elements Pigments and also Arteza and KS Resin. So if you need some supplies, there are some nice discount links in our description box, so take advantage of that. All right, now we're going to do the colors for our bloom. 
This one is Snapdragon. Okay, so now you're doing the bloom in the middle, okay. There is a nice video, video 248, that has Kathy's recipe for the paints and pigments she uses in her blooms and drizzles. I will have a direct link to that in the description box, and there will be a pop-up in the upper right-hand corner of the screen that will take you directly to that recipe video. This is Gold Sparkle. Even though it looks just white, it's beautiful. It's beautiful gold. So hopefully it'll show up. Mm -hmm. This is Jasmine coming up. Jasmine's another beautiful color. You always come up with a new wrinkle on this stuff. I, I mean, I would have never thought that you were going to do two different base colors mixed together, then a drizzle <laughs> on top of that, and then a bloom on top of that. I don't know. That's uh, that's going to be... Hey, i got to keep things interesting. I know. You I can't know. say, you know, it's boring here, just doing the same thing all the time. i got to keep it interesting. Exactly. And you know how I am with all my pigments, so. That was Majestic Blue. That's a beauty. That, that's a beautiful. I love this dark purple, is that? No, this is uh, Wine and Roses. Wine and Roses, I know, but it's uh, really nice. Okay, now I just got to pop my little bubbles here. Yeah, you never know what your wife's going to do next, Phil. She's kind of crazy. That's with, what I'm afraid of. She's kind of crazy with stuff, you know <laughs> what I mean? All right, now I'm putting my black cell activator in here. You knew it would have to be black. Yes, and that's simply black paint. And Floetrol. And Floetrol. And you use black Amsterdam paint. Correct. Okay. I mean, you can use any color you want. I just... That's true. That's true. Okay. Now. No, I'm not going to blow this with my mouth. I'm blowing it with my hair dryer today. Okay. Okay. See all those beautiful cells popping up? Yes. Oh wow, look at that. Holy cow. I love those wine and roses and this might be pretty. Do you have the bloom close enough to the corners? Well, we're going to spin it now. I know, but I'm not too sure it'll spin all the way up to the corner. Well, we're going to see, aren't we? <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to have some negative space. Okay. Well. Because that's new to this, too. All right. Okay, good. I don't want to lose my uh, cells. There we so. go. Okay. All right. So now you're adding the spin to this. Okay. <laughs> 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 yep, I'm adding the spin to this, so I'm going to have to really put my magic in here because I have not done this before. So, all right, let are you ready? A, let me take a quick peek at uh, the bloom as it is right now. Okay, so it's got the beautiful colors. Hey, you know what I might do? Wow, look at that center. There. Might oh, add a little tough. spin to this, too. What? I might add a little bit of my magic on... I'm swiping here. On Are you sure? Um, I don't know. I'm not too sure. No? No. Okay, we'll leave it there. No, because I... Uh... All right, you ready? 
<laughs> All right. A lot of paint coming off. Yeah. It made it to the wow. end, Phil. It did. It did. Wow. I got to just get this. Okay. Otherwise, I'll tip that off. Yeah. It made it oh, to the wow. end, Phil. Look, look. That's, that's a beautiful bloom. Yes. It... Oh, I am so excited. <laughs> I can't stand it. There's the center of the bloom. Oh. Very cool. This is beautiful. This is. is really, really pretty. I like how the drizzle just add colors peeking through, the different colors peeking through around the bloom. That add a, a, a whole new... Add a whole new dimension to I mean, this yeah, whole thing. it did. It did. Exactly. I mean, this is really, oh, that really pretty. Out beautiful. I am so excited with this experiment. You can't believe it because I didn't know how this was going to turn out. Um, I wonder if you could open up the shade a little bit because being so dark in here, these these colors are so vibrant, there isn't much light. So let's just see. Is it better? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely getting better, yes. Well, you know what? We can bring it over here. No, no, we're fine. It lightened it up nice so we can really see the colors. This is absolutely stunning. Really I am is. so glad I thought of this because I'm thinking, okay, why not do my drizzle and then make a bloom with it, with my base colors. And um, it, this is what I got. It, it really picked up a lot of nice accents because of the drizzle underneath it. It really did. I mean, it, it's really beautiful. I hope everybody I, likes this. And the Payne's gray and the yellow base uh, is showing through in some different areas too. So every little step you did enhanced this final painting very nicely. All right, everybody. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, share it, and um, you never know what I'm coming up with. But please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to ha invite you to our channel. If you have, we love all of you. Please go to Redbubble and see my images on there. Go to my Etsy. This When this is dry, this will be on my Etsy shop as well. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please email me or uh, just comment. Yes, uh, also, Message. I will have direct links to Kathy's Etsy shop and her Redbubble shop uh, in the description yeah, so box. so let's go down here and look at this again. Wow, that turned out so nice. Yeah, and when it's dry, I'll show everybody because it's going to be beautiful. Once it's finished, it's going to be amazing. See you later, everybody. Bye.